Hey friends, today we're hanging out at Disney's French Quarter Resort. I wanted to come out and try the red hot Mickey shaped beignets. They look absolutely amazing and maybe a cup of gumbo as well. I am a little bit hungry and then later on we're actually going to go to Scat Cats Club and watch some live jazz music with some friends and it's going to be a fun festive night. Anywho's, let's go do this. I love hanging out at Disney's French Quarter Resort. It is so beautiful here, and it's even better to come hang out during the Mardi Gras season. The beignets are phenomenal, and like I said, they have some special edition ones that we're gonna try today, and it's just a beautiful, quiet resort. Disney's French Quarter Resort and Port Orleans Resort is kind of the same. They're really right next to each other. You can actually walk back and forth and they're both so amazing and probably one of the best adult oriented resorts I feel like. It is so quiet over on French Quarter side and everything is just beautiful and Port Orleans is such a fun time. So we're going to explore around a little bit. It's uh, almost sunset so we're going to see probably an amazing sunset. Then we're going to get some food and meet up with our friends. Ever since going over to Universal Studios and getting the gumbo and the beignets over there, I've been thinking about coming back over here so I can get the Mickey beignets and the gumbo because the gumbo is phenomenal too. I also believe that French Quarter has probably one of the best uh, quick service locations because they have jambalaya, hot beef sandwiches, gumbo, some really awesome things. And like I said before, the Scat Cats Club is now open again and the live uh, entertainment's back. The jazz music is there and it's gonna be really chilled vibes and I'm excited for that. As you can see, here is a little look at the resort map. Here is Port Orleans Riverside and it's such a massive resort. And then down here is Port Orleans French Quarter and this is where we're at right now. And yeah, like, isn't it so big? It is really, really massive. They even have multiple different forms of transportation that take you back and forth to the resorts. They have buses or they have boats and they even have horse-drawn carriages that you can rent that'll take you back and forth and those just recently came back out. So I was hoping to see a horse today. Maybe we will. French Quarter side is just so fun to walk around and look at all the decorations and the resort itself. It is really beautiful. I want to show you the pool area, but there's probably a lot of people swimming over there, but they have a gigantic sea serpent in the pool, and I think his name is Scales, and I think that's kind of funny, but look at the little alligators here. This one looks a little like he's up to something, doesn't he? I'm going to place a mobile order to get myself some gumbo and then some beignets and until it's ready I think we're just going to walk around a little bit. I'm going to show you the outside of the rooms because those are so pretty as well. Just like I said walking around you're going to be like wow and I know I've come here before but it's always nice to come back especially during the Mardi Gras season. I love everything from the lamp post and Neptune's parade to the street signs to the buildings themselves too. I think it looks so beautiful here. Let me know if you guys are from, you know, the French Quarter area, if you've been there before. And this is kind of what it looks like. I've never been there before. And I like how they have the horse jollies right here too. I still haven't seen my horse. You know, maybe we can count this little guy as one though. Yeah, there we go. Well, that did not take long at all, but I just got the notification, our gumbo is ready. And I am so excited, I love the gumbo here. It is so, so good. And uh, we're gonna head inside and eat. We're gonna head on in the good old Sasagula Floatworks Food Factory for some gumbo. And then later on, we're gonna go get some beignets, some Mickey shaped beignets. Like I said before, this is one of my favorite quick service locations, especially when it comes to resort food because it's so unique. Like I said before, this is one of my favorite quick service locations, especially when it comes to resort food because it's so unique and different. They've got so many different offerings, chicken parm, pasta with meatballs, pot roast, Walt Disney's bread bowl chili. Then they've got jambalaya, gumbo, a prime rib dip, a signature pimento, bacon and cheese, cheeseburger, and then tons of other like desserts, Mardi Gras king cake, cupcakes, and of course the beignets. So I wanted to show you guys the gumbo and I wanted to show you the jambalaya and I thought that I was getting like a small cup of gumbo because it was only $8. But look at this. This is massive, isn't it? That's a big portion and for only $8? Like that's kind of unheard of, but Disney. And then this is the jambalaya and this was $11. So this was an under $20 meal right here. And I think that is amazing, right? Under $20, look at all the food you get. And I can't wait to dive in. 
first let's grab some of this gumbo here got to get the rice I'm gonna try it on its own first alert alert there's a there's a horse look at that I told you we were gonna see a horse today so you can just sit here enjoy some gumbo and jambalaya and see a horse just drop by that is so amazing that makes me so happy I can hear his little clops his little clops <laughs> that is cool okay back to the uh, gumbo business Gotta try, there's another horse coming. Would you look at that, there is another horse coming. All right, we gotta try the gumbo here. So good, man, I love it. And you can't beat the price for $8 for this. Okay, now we're gonna slide in the jambalaya. Gonna try this on its own. And also, that cornbread, oh yeah, that's gonna come in handy. Later on, why I use it to uh, dab inside the gumbo there. That's going to be phenomenal. The jambalaya has sausage and chicken in there. So we're going to want to try to get a little bit of everything in one bite, you know? That's the way. None of this is actually really spicy. A little bit spicy on the jambalaya, but not too much. So here we go. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you gumbolaya. We're going to take a little bit of the jambalaya we're gonna put it in the gumbo and we're gonna make gumbolaya i have done it before folks and let me tell you it is so good the good old gumbalaya <laughs> This is such an amazing combination. I love it. <laughs> I'll get it every single time. Now it's time to uh, dip that cornbread in there. And this is gonna be so good. The cornbread is absolutely amazing as well. I think I say absolutely amazing a lot. I'm gonna have to put that on the uh, fancy count. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think you can get a better meal on Disney property for under $20 than this right here. It is so, so good. And with the cornbread, I love it. <laughs> I'm calling it quits though. I don't think I can finish. That is so much food. I was just a little shocked and I think this happens to me every time I come here because I think I'm getting like a small bowl or a small cup of uh, gumbo and then I end up getting this gigantic thing. So I think this happened to me plenty of times in the past and I keep on making the same mistake. But oh well, it's a good mistake. <laughs> I think I'm gonna wait to get Mickey beignets when my friends get here because they actually sell them in like multiple like numbers so you can get like six or you can get 12 or you can get three and they have boozy beignets so they have beignets with alcohol inside them so I kind of want to show you all of them but I don't want to order all of them because I'm not gonna be able to eat all of them so if we do it with some friends we're gonna be able to split them up and share them and show them and I think that's what we're gonna do that's a smart idea now I want to head back inside the main lobby and I want to show you where the beignets are at and also show you the red hot beignets. Those are the ones I'm looking forward to the most. Those are for Valentine's Day and they look so pretty. Right next to the Sasagula Floatworks Food Factory is the Scat Cats Club Cafe. Now this isn't the Scat Cats Club Lounge, but this is where you get the beignets. And they got the Mickey shaped beignets. They sell them three for $6.99 or six for $10.99. And then they got specialty beignets and then they've got the uh, boozy beignets, <laughs> there's a lot. The Baton Rouge beignets, two beignets jazzed up with your choice of Bailey's Irish Cream, uh, Kalula or Rum Chata. They also have a special uh, bougie beignet that they're doing for Valentine's Day and that's the one I wanna show you. Here is a look at some of those beignets. That's the one in the back, the cinnamon sugar. Oh no, this is the cinnamon sugar. That's the uh, red hot beignet in the back there. So a lot of cool specialty ones. So we're definitely gonna try some of those. And then here's the boozy beignets. And this one is the special one. Oh, they all look so, so good. It looks like the red hot Mickey shaped beignets are sold individually for $3.99. So I think we're gonna get those and then the special fireball boozy beignets uh, and then try all the beignets once we get in Scat Cat's Lounge with all of our friends. 
I love the inside of this little cafe here. It's like a quiet little beignet cafe, and they used to have board games in here, I remember. I don't think they do that anymore, but they used to have board games where you're able to just sit down, play some games, and uh, kind of relax. So it's definitely changed over the years. And here they are. Take a look at these precious little beauties. So this is the hot cinnamon icing uh, on a regular Mickey beignet. Now there's no powdered sugar on this. It looks like a little bit. And then these are the Baton Rouge beignets. And these ones are for Valentine's Day because they give you the hot cinnamon sauce and then fireball as shots inside them. So I'm so excited. I think we're gonna, we're gonna dive in. We're gonna try these. And I hope they're not too hot. We'll find out. First things first, let's go with the classic Mickey beignet here. And we're gonna break it in half, but of course we're gonna eat ears first. Oh wow, this literally comes apart so easily. Look at that. But here we go, ears first. <laughs> the hot cinnamon sauce is not that hot. It also comes with a little uh, hot cinnamon candies as well. But I like this. I like the regular Mickey beignets a little bit better though. I wouldn't wanna like not come get regular Mickey beignets and get these instead. Mickey beignets, like regular with just powdered sugar, that's the way to go. Now we're gonna try the fireball <laughs> beignets here and this looks like it's a little bit difficult. Like very difficult, it might be a mess here. So I'm gonna pull up the plate here. So I think you squirt this in here, like that. Oh boy, yep, squirt that in there, we did. I'm gonna take some of it out and we're gonna bite into it here. <laughs> wow. And we still have some fireball here, so I'm gonna give it a little squirt. There we go. Okay, that's hot. I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys how we boozy up the beignets here. We're gonna stick this in right here and then give it a little give it a little juice. That's the way. And that's how you do it. <laughs> Ooh, that's a These are so, so good. And if you don't like cinnamon stuff, I highly suggest you get the regular beignets uh, with the regular uh, Baton Rouge beignets with uh, rum chata or Kalula because that is phenomenal. But these, I kind of like them. It's dripping, it's dripping a little bit. And do you know what I think is crazy? The fact that we just got two shots of Fireball whiskey and two beignets for $10. I think one shot of Fireball at the bar probably is $10. So this is kind of like a hack. If you like shots of Fireball, come and uh, grab some beignets. You'll get pretty much double your money's worth. And now that we've had our red hot beignets, it's time to head into Scat's Cat's Lounge so we have more beignets and listen to some music and hang out with friends. It looks like the music has already started. So if you go right to the left, so this is where we got our beignets from. And to the left is the lounge itself. And look how cool it is in here. It's like you're really walking into a jazz club. I really, really do like it in here. And we have a nice little table set up over in the corner here with all of our friends. They got here early. There they are. Hi, friends. <laughs> nice. I love it! <laughs> Very cool! Look at how cool this is though. <laughs> Looks like they got some specialty cocktails here and there's a lot of good ones. I'm not too sure which one I want to get, but I think I might want to get this bourbon peach tea. That sounds phenomenal. Here 
is our group of friends. We've got Promise Your and Palatine. Travis. Oh, Palentine's, yeah, yes. We're here. Yes, it's a Palentine's Day. Yeah, that's so what I, it's that's what uh, we're doing. Valentine's for it's pals. pals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ashlyn's over there dating in Disney. We've got LBV. Yeah, Kristen with right down Main Street. And uh, Shannon with the uh, Second Star Collective. So we're all just hanging out, enjoying. The pals are all here. <laughs> the Palentine's, yes. <laughs> Nathan, are you ready to cut the king cake syrup? Oh yeah, and Maria actually brought a gigantic king cake from New Orleans. Well, that was thanks to Kate Killebrew. Oh, okay, Kate Killebrew sent it. No, no, she drove it. She dropped it. Oh, I, she dropped it down? Nice. Well, I'm excited. So we're going to break the cake open and it's going to be fun. Oh, find the baby. Maria's going to get the baby. Yep. <laughs> this is the best place to eat king cake, probably, I feel like. You have to. Right? That's what I mean. When I was eating my boozy beignet, I didn't want to inject all of like the fireball into the beignet because I didn't want it to be really sloppy and I wanted to show you guys. Now some people like just put the whole shot right in the beignet and then just let it all soak up and eat it, but I was like really dainty with it and now I have basically a shot of fireball waiting because I've already eaten the beignet so I think I'm gonna finish it up and I'm just gonna I mean I'm not gonna waste it I paid nine dollars for it so uh, I'm going for it I'm just gonna shoot it but shoot it like you know what I mean so. mm. that was good yeah Ooh. <laughs> Little bit, and you can do it as a shot. And this is whiskey, right? This is yeah. Uh, fireball. That's fireball in there. Fireballs in there. Come on. Do a little bit in there. You gotta go full. You gotta go full. Talking about it earlier. You're going all in. Oh, she yeah, went all good. in. See, and they start dribbling oh, out. Save like a little half. Save. Yeah, that's what I did. I, I was very like dancey with it. Oh, wait for her. Wait for her. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> Tastes very boozy. Very boozy. <laughs> no, but the nice. And here's my peach tea. They put it in a nice little mason jar. I like this. This looks really, really good. Yes, it's a pink one. There we go. So everybody, cheers. Cheers. I didn't touch anybody's glass. There we go. <laughs> to Mardi Gras. <laughs> So this is Woodford bourbon and also peach schnapps in sweet tea and we're going for it That's smooth very very smooth This is so so smooth. I don't taste the bourbon at all I, I do taste like a little bit of peach in the tea, but this is like a very refreshing beverage itself Oh, and it looks like we're cutting the king cake here. Uh oh Cake. At least we know I didn't steal it. Yeah, Chris is uh, smuggling in king cakes here. <laughs> the king cake smuggler. <laughs> king cake smuggler, I like it. <laughs> so we just realized that the baby is not inside the king cake. You actually have to put the baby in the cake. So Chris is choosing himself as a person to hide the baby and Hopefully, you know, one of us is going to get it. It's going to be a baby surprise. <laughs> what the? Yeah, good luck. Yeah. Oh, there we go. We're back. Nice. Yeah. If you're feeling good, let me hear you say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wish everyone a happy Valentine's Day weekend. Thank you. Play some some beautiful music for you really quick. Um, come on, Dave. You guys give Dave Parks a round of applause. Thank you. Ashlyn, will you pick me a slice?
one. The one in the middle. Yep. I'm not too sure how we're going to find out if we got the baby or not. I'm going to cut it in half. Oh, Lordy. That might be the cake. <laughs> it's just the cake. False alarm. Oh, that was a pregnancy scare. <laughs> no baby in there. No baby. Oh, you do got the baby. Oh, it's. This lovely weekend and the days that are to come. Be very gentle. So some of these songs. Really Pull the baby out. This next one. It's giving birth. It's a beautiful song. Oh. <laughs> this one is a base tribute. So you know what? I dedicate this one to you guys. So thank you guys for being out here with us. Today. We found the baby. Enjoy. Play, Dave. Hey, you guys, you guys can do better. Say, play it, Dave. Play it, Dave. So we're gonna have Dave create something. This is our last song for this set, but we will be back. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Well, Shannon got the baby, and that means she's got good luck coming to her. But the cake is pretty good. Oh boy, here it is. Mickey Beignet time. Look at all those Mickey Beignets. It's a basket of goodness. A Mickey Beignet bowl. Oh, we got a little Beauty and the Beast happening. I'll take this one right here. Go ahead, Maria, grab one. I just got my hair, I think it might be. See, they're so, they're so like hot they're and so fluffy, fluffy, right? I got a part of an ear. Here we go. Ears first. With the Beauty and the Beast music playing. stories by the one and only king of the blues, Mr. B.B. King. It's not a popular song, but it's kind of funny. I like it. One, a two, a one, two. Can I get you to snap your fingers like this? Just a, just a little bit. Come on. It won't be long. Just two minutes. Yet. I kind of like this table right here, too. You guys are kind of turned up. I like y'all. Yes. Let me tell you a story. Well, me and my baby, we keep falling out. Let me tell you what it's all about. She wanna sell my monkey. She wanna sell my monkey. Ooh. Wanna sell my monkey, but that will never do, baby. You see, it used to be hers, but she gave it to me. Why she wanna sell a monkey? Just can't see. She wanna sell my monkey. Wanna sell my monkey? Wanna sell my monkey, but that will never do. Come on, play it for me one time, babe. So wow, the Scat Cats Club is so much fun. I love the band in there, the Jazz Fusion. They are really, really awesome, and it's just a really cool atmosphere. Now, I think we're gonna actually walk over to Riverside and see if we can catch Yeehaw Bob. I mean, might as well. They both are playing like from eight o'clock till 12.30 at night, and it's only nine o'clock now, so the night is young. All right, are you guys ready, Port Orleans now? Yeah, Yeehaw Riverside, Bob. Yeehaw Bob. I'm ready for Yeehaw Bob at any point ever. Yep, Yeehaw Bob all the way. We got such a fun group. It's time to roll out. 
So I actually think it's only about a five minute walk from French Quarter to Port Orleans, but we're gonna time it to see exactly how long it takes. But it's, it's a beautiful walk, it's so nice, especially at night, I really do love it. It really is such a peaceful resort though, compared to like staying at All Stars or any of the other resorts, it's like really loud, but you can hear crickets as we're walking around, making our way down by the water bend. It's Jiminy. <laughs> oh, it's Jiminy Cricket, yes, it could be. <laughs> It's so nice actually this walk over and seeing the boats going back and forth and the wake in the water And we're almost there five minutes in Disney's Port Orleans Resort Riverside right underneath the bridge there And we have made it to Port Orleans Riverside. Hopefully there's a lot of room in there. Oh, look at it, the grand entry to the River Roost. Come on in, thank you. Oh, it looks he's still full. Well, it looks like Yeehaw Bob isn't playing tonight. Still some live entertainment, and uh, it's a pretty full house, so I don't know if we're gonna get a table, but that's really awesome. I'm a little sad that there's no Yeehaw Bob, but I guess we should have checked first. Night. You got a feeling? I got a feeling. Whoa! You got a feeling? Hey! Tonight's the night. Tonight's the night. <laughs> Maybe Yeehaw Bob had some prior engagement that he had to attend to tonight. So uh, they have uh, a fill-in for him. And I didn't catch his name, so hopefully we can catch his name. But he seems like he's a, a fun fellow. Like, you know, he seems like he's having a good time up there. He doesn't have that excitement, though, like Yeehaw Bob boy. His name is Tom Casey. Tom Casey. He's a soul man. I'm a soul man. See, he's doing a good job. Everyone say yeehaw After hanging around a little bit in the river roost, I think we're gonna call it a day. I do miss Yeehaw Bob, but you know, the man's gotta take a day off sometimes. You never know, things come up in life, and uh, I'm glad they have somebody in there. Now, he was actually really good. He was really nice, entertaining. He played a electric keyboard, but he wasn't like on the piano like Yeehaw Bob would. So, uh, hopefully we'll come back eventually another night, show you what a real like Yeehaw Bob river roost would be about and uh, have a little fun. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!